Okay, I got the timer mounted. It's mounted up on that beam right there. Um, and then mounted on some wood here. This was going to be the AF time, or RCM panel piece of wood, but uh, I guess it's not. Here's the main transformer. I'll plug it in. And that light goes on. Power's off, but the and the system's off. And then I'll turn the power on. Nothing will happen. I press test, things will happen. If I hear clicking noises. There you go, that's the solenoid pushing down. So it switches from off to armed. I have to yet get this light so it goes on only for test, but then goes off when it's actually set off. So we'll open it up here. Switch camera here. So here we have the timing motor. It's on for a 30 seconds steady and another 30 seconds alternating. And that goes off and on. So I use this really, really um, simple system. Pretty ugly, just a piece of string there. Um, but it works. Pulls the solenoid down, or pulls the switch down. You can see. Um, and there's the contacts. Let's see, there you go. It was right there. Um, this is the transformer, or the rectifier, the big one. Goes to the solenoid, the small one. Goes to the, as from that transformer, goes up to the DC relay. Um, I found out that uh, LEDs can run on AC, because they're diodes, so it, um, changes the alternating current into uh, DC, I assume that would be like a half wave rectifier instead of a full wave, which would be that. So that's just an assumption, I don't know if it's really true. I uh, got the motor there. This motor gets really hot, actually it's pretty warm right now. Um, there's no room to put a heat sink on it, also the solenoid does, I was able to put a heat sink there. So I'll have to figure out either a fan system or something. Um, then there's the uh, switches and everything. I haven't gotten hooked up to anything. This will be for those, um, for the timers, or I mean the power supplies and the noise makers. So, that's what I got going so far. And then you press camp or just off, and it goes off. The only problem right here is if it's left off, since I can have it so like when it's uh, pushed down as it is right now, have like a the siren on. When it goes off, the bell will go off, um, or the bell will go on, but if it's always off, like it is, that the problem was, no matter what, something will always be on, so I had to figure, like, I think it needs another switch somewhere, I'm not quite sure, um, where, um, we'll see about that, I gotta do a little bit more circuit, um, wiring and soldering, it's pretty messy, uh, but it's good enough for me.